Hello YouTube. Volkonsky Dolmen is a megalithic monument located near the Lazarevsky district, literally 200 meters from the Novorossiysk Sochi highway near the village of Volkonka. Not only tourists, but historians, esoteric adherents, and those who believe in the occult are very eager to visit this dolmen. Well, dolmen, by the way, in translation from the Breton language means stone table, ta o ma en. This phrase was used to describe structures, funerary, cult, ritual ones, that resemble tables in their appearance, ancient megaliths, structures in the form of a stone slabs mounted on the same stone pillars. The Volkonsky Dolmen is a fairly well-known megalithic artifact, but few people know that there are traces of an ancient drilling rig next to it. It seems that someone was testing the work of a drill before creating this dolmen. The Volkonsky Dolmen, by the way, is the only monolithic dolmen found on the planet today. Ancient people, or maybe not people at all, maybe not humans, who knows, cut down in the rock to a miniature hole. So says official science, but judging by the traces of the drill that can be found in the rocks near the dolmen, it was clearly not created with a stone axe. The age of this dolmen by official dating is four to 5,000 years, but there are people who believe it to be much older. The dolmen is about 16 meters long, 8 meters wide, and the height of the inner chamber is 1.5 meters. On its facade, there is a neat rectangle with a round hole in the middle. Inside, there is a chamber with a small hole, a notch on the floor. No one knows who did all of this and why they did it. It's unlikely that we'll find out at all. The dolmen is built of sandstone. Again, its age is estimated to be thousands of years, and many researchers believe that it appeared on Earth at the same time as the Egyptian pyramids, depending on when they appeared on this planet, because there are conflicting ideas about it. Uh, there is also a hypothesis that the dolmen is an ancient burial structure, a tomb. Another assumption is acoustic devices that are located in anomalous zones, places where the earth crust breaks and their purpose is to notify people of approaching disasters. And through my uh, channel, you will see videos that talk about the dolmen. It's a very interesting phenomenon. Now, adherents of this hypothesis are just described regarding the acoustics, believe that the giants constantly emit humming sounds only at low frequencies, not noticeable to the human ear. And the day before the earthquake, the frequency of the sound changes and people hear the hum. In the city of Sochi, they tell different stories about the mystical properties of the dolmen and the place surrounding it. They say that you can make a cherished wish there, if it is a kind wish, then it must be fulfilled. Tourists are scared that the clocks at the dolmen begin to go backward, backwards or stop altogether, and any measuring instruments stop working there. However, according, um, according to ancient legends, uh, such dolmens were used for divination, Special, and the balls that were found inside them were used for this purpose too. Special rounded stones were thrown at them, and depending on how they hit, the will of the gods was determined. But most likely this refers to the depressions that are hollowed out on the horizontal surface of the rocks, because besides them there are balls on the vertical surfaces of the stones. Usually such holes are found on the roofs of dolmens, and are both single and in the form of clusters, um, forming drawings. According to some scientists, 
These drawings are a map of the starry sky according to astronomical studies of very ancient people. Next to the hole in the floor of the room, there's a small funnel, the purpose of which can only be guessed. The name of this dolmen is associated with Princess Volkonska, who spent a lot of time near it. Again, there are people who believe that approximately it's aged to be nine and a half thousand years. It is amazing that back in those days, people had the necessary knowledge and skills to cut down hard rocks, giving them such precise shapes. Some scholars believe, again, that this structure served as a temple where people meditated. Next to the building, next to the dolmen, you can see a mineral spring. There are many dolmens on the territory of Greater Sochi. Most of them are tiled as they consist of separate slabs. There are also trough-like structures, the walls of which are hollowed out in one stone rock, and the ceiling is a separate slab. However, monolithic dolmens hollowed out in one stone are rare. The Volkonsky dolmen is considered the only one of its kind, not only in the Caucasus area, but also in the whole world. Two similar structures were destroyed in the 20th century. So that's what I wanted to let you know today, and I'll bring you more stories about the dolmen as I did before, and the Caucasus area especially. It, it, it's a very interesting part of the world, and few people really know about its paranormal phenomena. Uh, you know, be it in the West or, you know, in, in, in the Orient, wherever. You need to find out more. And I definitely have done my share of the research. And you can see videos about ancient Georgia, Armenia, Dagestan, and so forth. Uh, so please, if you like my research, please support me through the links you'll find in the description to this channel. And thank you for your attention to my work. And please like my videos.